Let's see an example now. And uh, I'm going to also show you a video of a student actually uh, interacting with AI in an in-person class. Uh, what I do so this process goes much, much faster, I share the prompt with them using Google Classroom, but it could be any, an email or something that the students can easily access and copy the content. And let's see how that goes. Sounds fun. Let's act out this part of the exam. I'll ask you the questions and listen carefully to your answers. Remember, there are no wrong answers here. I A comment before it goes. It's very interesting how it is interacting and it's surprising if a person has not used generative AI before. Uh, there are no right answers. Somehow it is telling the student, look, and encouraging to be spontaneous and to try. I just want to hear about your preferences and thoughts. All right, first question. Then he goes, all right, first question. What do you do when you want to relax? Why? When I want to relax, I talk with my friends. They are so cool. While the student is interacting, this is Gemini, uh, they can visualize everything that the generative AI is speaking. So from the perspective of learning, that's training. And then, uh, of course, there's the microphone and then permission to use the microphone, you could see that. And then the student just answers the question and gets to see that, what is being understood by the generative AI. Remember I told you before that it's important to add English as a second language to the general management of the phone? It's going to be helpful here, okay? That sounds like a great way to unwind. Then there's learner training involved. Once the answer is ready, they have just to hit send. And I teach them, this is a learner training, I reinforce it's important, so they can not only read, but also listen and to the comments afterwards. Right. Spending time with friends can be a lot of fun and a good way to distress. Spending time with friends and goes on. It is just, uh, the output is completely connected to the prompt. Yeah, it's commenting, the language being used here, it's for an intermediate B1 level student. Is there anything specific you enjoy doing with them that helps you relax? Sure, let's get started. And then I'm showing the same questions, but now a student who opted for using chat GPT. When I want to relax, I read some books and play some music. It is important to understand that uh, you will choose, okay, am I going to use Copilot? Am I going to use Gemini, ChatGPT? It depends on how it goes. But make sure you choose the one that gives you this possibility of listening to what was said or to what is being spoken. This is an in-person class. Uh, one of the prompts, right? I'd like you to try. How about we give it a try in our phones? How does that go? If it is possible for you, you could either open, for instance, Gemini and type this question or which I think is more practical, scan uh, the QR code. Once you scan this QR code, it is going to take you uh, to 
a kind of a friend for conversation that's ready here. Okay, so this is what you're going to visualize. Then now you click, I don't have to type everything, that's why it's much easier. Uh, then it will probably appear something like, continue this chart, and you should click continue this chart. That's how it looks. The question is here, so I need to answer to reply. I'd like to invite each one of you who is following this talk here, this session, uh, see if you can do that on your phone. Let's, for a moment, imagine you are the students in class. How would you answer this question as an intermediate level student? I'm going to try here live, okay? Let's see if that goes, how, how it goes. All right. So the question is here. Well, when I want to relax, I watch TV series and sometimes I listen to music or go for a walk. Hit send. And then there's a reply, which is the comment. I have to tell my student to click and listen to that. There is a symbol, uh, like sound on symbol, to click. It takes a while, but then it is going to read the comment, the reply. 